Hey YouTube, um, today I'm wanting to dedicate some time to talk about ways to be successful with conversation clubs because there really aren't many uh, resources out there that explicitly tell you what you need to do and a lot of people don't really know what the job title of uh, being a uh, conversation club teacher really involves. And uh, when I got to Columbia, uh, with Fulbright as an ETA, one of the first things I found out I was going to be doing uh, is running a English conversation club in my university. And I know there are probably hundreds and hundreds of teachers around the world that are teaching English in uh, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and they're doing the same thing, be it Spanish clubs, French clubs, English clubs. So really finding uh, activities and games and, and ways to keep students coming back is, uh, is a key element of the job because it's not like a formal class. So what I've done is I've made a list of a couple uh, tips I have for those of you who are beginning, having had to go through this learning curve myself. Um, the first of, of them is uh, the importance of building relationships with students. Um, you never know really who's going to come each day. I ended up making a Facebook page to, to make announcements for people. But I really got my name out, I uh, posted things around, I got to know just about every English learning student at the university I was teaching at in Columbia, and that really helped me to uh, kind of market the club, and it helped me to uh, spread the word uh, via mouth and really get to know students. Uh, then when they come to the club, I'd really build a really good uh, relationship with them, you know, figure out what the, what the kind of things they're into, and use that kind of knowledge in my uh, lesson planning in order to keep people coming back. So uh, I cannot express the, the importance of using uh, your knowledge of your students to uh, keep them coming back. Another one is uh, when people come to conversation clubs, they come A to learn, but B, uh, there is part entertainer. And I know you probably heard the, the idea that teachers are part teachers, part uh, psychologists, part entertainer. But really, uh, you, you want to be using entertaining, really kinesthetic, visual, moving around activities that have students conversing, that have students talking, laughing, uh, singing, what it, whatever it be. And uh, on this channel, I've made a, a couple videos of games that I used in my conversation clubs that, that really, really worked. Um, so if you're looking for ideas, check out my video on Hot Seat, a great game. Uh, Alibi, that's a good one. I've just added one about sentence manipulations, which is a pretty fun kinesthetic activity. Um, Mafia, it's a game that'll last 50 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how many students you have. Um, I'm going to be making a video soon on having like a topic of the day, so you can print out news articles and, and have your students read it, and then discuss it using uh, concentric circles, etc. Um, also, if they're practicing numbers, you can do kind of what's called a number line activity where you can say, okay, I'm thinking of a number, like 500, and uh, make them guess, and then you tell them, oh, it's greater than 300, but less than uh, uh, 325, just to kind of get them to guess your number. But most importantly, uh, I kind of mentioned this in the beginning, my biggest tip for someone who's doing a conversation club is to um, really get the word out there. Marketing is the most important part. Uh, I mentioned making a Facebook page, if you can make a Facebook page, share it to people on WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, get that out there. You'll have people coming. You'll have people emailing you from uh, other schools, seeing if you can come. And you might even uh, get a gig as a tutor or something, trying to help people outside. So there might be monetary benefits for you as well. Um, but please, if you are a beginning conversation club uh, leader, feel free to email me. My email is the same as the... Uh, as the thumbnail for this uh, YouTube channel, study teach abroad at gmail.com. I check my email on a regular basis. And uh, please do check out the videos on the games that I mentioned. And uh, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks.